So for those of you that are watching, if you want to just chime in, let us know how our levels are for the audio here, or we're waiting for our last player to sign in. Are we getting the big red? Oh no. Well, we just started. Okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll chug a little bit there, and then we should be good. Yeah, yeah, Alright, so you're just watching the practice here as we're getting started. We're going to go to our uh, just quick uh, overview of what we're looking yeah. at today. Sure. Alright. So tonight we've got our uh, week three uh, of our regular season before we go into the playoffs, which are next week. So tonight we're looking at our first match. We've got Jade versus Ruby. Um, we do have one sub in for Deus Ex, so we have a, a guest designated hitter. If yeah, you will. yeah, absolutely. So, Fan favorite around uh, Ignite, so yes. hopefully people recognize him playing a little bit out here. So we're starting off, yeah, Jade versus Ruby. Both teams are really close right now in terms of their uh, the standings. Um, so each win is going to count as one point, a loss, you don't get any points. And Onyx right now is ahead by four. So I guess looking at the teams that we're playing right now, Jade and Ruby. So Jade and Ruby, Ruby's ahead by one point right now with three, and Jade is kind of the underdog at two. I would say that if Jade's got a chance to get into the finals they might need to do a sweep or have a really good run here um if they want to get a chance to stay alive here so it's going to be tough for them yeah it'll be it'll be some close matches based on last week i think a lot of these guys are pretty evenly matched for the most part um i think some of the some of the big turning points we saw were you know kind of that old management obviously is really important uh teams staying together we saw a little bit of team fatigue in a couple of matches last oh, yeah. week so that's going to play a big role here so we'll kind of see uh, I'm interested to see if they change up the builds at all, because uh, very standard builds for the most part, so we'll see if there's any change up in that. Yeah, and Ruby is a team that's going to lend itself more towards the dive composition. We've seen that out of them numerous times. They're a team that's practiced together. They're invested in a very specific strategy. They're actually looking over video from the last matches, so they're very interested in figuring out what's going to make their teams work. Jade, much more traditional team. Very much into the Rhine, two heal, two tank, two DPS. They're not looking to be that innovative, but then again, it works. Let's see here if we can remember, as I look at our lineup sheet here, but um, I mean, we had a couple of key players on, on Jade last week that are worth mentioning. Um, I mean, we had uh, SJ Ripper, which was their damage dealer, which was also, you know, key, mm -hmm. key player. Also played a little bit of D.Va, if I remember correctly, as well. So we'll keep an eye on him. And then we've also got our Hawk doing our DPS as well mm -hmm. on that side. Uh, Yibo, we can't forget his massive heals. After week one, if you remember, he had one of our uh, highlight videos where he just fell off the map when he <laughs> yeah, should have yeah. done that all. Didn't, <clears throat> didn't work out with the revive. But uh, last week, I think he redeemed himself. I think fans and uh, his teammates were happy for his turnaround. So Absolutely. We are going to have some great plays on a lot of these guys. Um, I'm excited to see what they're able to do. We've seen a lot of cool Bastion play out of Hawk. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we also had for uh, Team Ruby here uh, a couple of highlights on some of the players there. We had Yugs, who was pretty good uh, Ryan player. Uh, so we saw a lot of good damage and alt management from him as well. And then Loth, which is a fantastic uh, support player, uh, played some Zen and Ana. I think he prefers Zen, um, but he plays pretty good. Uh, I think he plays pretty good Ana himself. And then we had Shock and Awe, which was also a really good damage dealer and a little insider. He was also runner runner up for our uh, hero highlight, or one of the runner ups of our hero highlight of the week last week. So. All right, I'm gonna do a little troubleshooting with some of our mic issues we're having right now, right. and uh, we should be fired up in the next five minutes or so. All right.
Yep. All right. So we got our teams ready. We're just restarting here. So uh, again, those of you watching, just uh, let us know about the mic levels as we go on. Obviously, we got a lot of lot of background noise here. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, all right. So shall we jump to game? Yeah, let's do it. I'm all excited. Right. Been here waiting we go. here. You guys will notice that nice little rotating decal at the top of our screen. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a 90s website, but I like it. <laughs> I, I like it. I know, I know. I like it. All right. So these teams have had a good, decent amount of time to warm up, get ready, hone their skills, um, and let's see what they're able to do. All right. So we're looking at some pretty basic... Uh, let's see what we got here. Some pretty basic lineups here out of both these teams. Almost the exact same, except on oh no, a just not really same style, I guess, but some differences. Um, Loth coming back, he was out last week, and uh, we're excited that he's back here. He's gonna do. He's been exceptionally good at taking out Pharaohs. I think that's one of his strong suits. Absolutely, that Discord orb really helpful in tagging him, and then uh, they've got Dakirin on uh, Soldier. He does great DPS. Very excited to see what he's doing. And you know what? To we totally failed to mention in our little pregame talk there. Nazari uh, was one of our hero highlights uh, two weeks ago. Plays an excellent Roadhog and uh, Ryan. So Absolutely. keep an eye on him for those hooks. Yeah, and uh, for those of you that are watching post Big Patch, the the rollout for any of the new soldier uh, buffs and or debuffs are not in effect. Well, that's just on PTR, I think, right? Yeah, it's just on PTR now. But I know it's uh, this. If you're watching this, there's a oh, chance it might yeah. be live. So just so everyone knows, we're playing current live uh, as of May the fourth. Uh, Some top really Ooh. quick pickups, but Tremulous, Tremulous, <laughs> wow, right just jumped there. right back in, <laughs> allowing Team J to just sacrifice themselves in there. Ruby's just marching right along here. Wow. The, uh, the big guy trying to make something happen there. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty incredible. But some great shots from Hawk here. We have not seen him too much on this Farah, but uh, he's doing quite good keeping out these targets. He's on shock and Ooh, off. Farah right on Farah. Shock it off. See if he can get out of the way, and he does for the time being. We got that uh, pharmacy working on Hawk there too, which is a big advantage. Absolutely. So what are, they, what are they doing over here? Well, J team looks like they're going to be able to stabilize here. They were totally yeah. losing control there for a little bit. Um, but look at this. They've already managed to stabilize. Wow. Wow, Jade really, they, they bounced back there. That was good. They pushed them right back, came back, regrouped here on the payload, and the payload is going back home. Oh, yeah. I don't think uh, Team Jade really, uh, this is Team Jade, right? Yeah, I don't think Team Jade really expected that level of uh, intensity coming out the door, yeah. but Hawk Ooh. pops himself. Doesn't manage to pick up too many. Oh, there you go. Picks up gently. But he did push them all back through the doorway there, so that was good. And we got a Zen alt right in the middle. You can see Ruby is saying, you know, we got we to gotta get in there a little bit. Hawk trying to pick up this Ryan who's a little out. Hawk always flying around, just really picking up some great kills, and he is very, very difficult to work with. Narazuri gets the ult, pushing off Ruby, and it looks like Team Jade is going to be able to hold this one. Shock and all, pops and all with Anna. They just need a little bit more. Is he going to be able to pick him up? Ooh, he gets ulted. Yu's going to have a big ult opportunity. No idea how he actually managed to pick that up, but that's going to be huge as Team Ruby's going to pick up this first point on that. Wow. I don't know how Yu's got that ult they, off. <laughs> I, knew, I said to keep an eye on him. We knew that something was going to happen. So we're pushing through this first point, and we're seeing Hawk already building up another big ult. These fair ults are huge. Um, we'll see uh, what they're able to do with it. Hawk going up in the air with the assistance of Yibo. Gonna have an opportunity to, to keep him off that top portion. So this 
Staying above on this shuttle is pretty important if you're able to keep control of that. can definitely help. It's uh, a great vantage point. You've got great cover and you have a great opportunity to take him out from a safe distance. Nice Ooh. shot. You nice. really... He's been excelling at this tank position. Evo trying to get that alt off, I assume, but not quite up yet. 90%. Team Ruby's just marching this along now. Wow. They were not... Jade did not answer on that push to that second point. Absolutely not. That's a hard one. If you're not able to stop them underneath the shuttle and lose control of that, yeah, it's very challenging. I'm not going to say this is the home stretch yet until we hit that second bend, but that was a big, big miss there. Mm -hmm. So I, we're going to see an alt out of Decurion here to kind of create some space, push them back out of this area. Yugs leading again with the shield just directly in front of the payload. Really good positioning there. You notice even Shock and Awe was staying slightly behind the shield as well, not to pop above that. Nice. He moves here. We got an alt out of Shock and Awe here. They're on Shock and Awe, and they're just picking them up. Nice works out of use. And they towed down that, that spawn, and Ruby picks this up quick. Wow. With uh, 325 left on the clock as well. That yes. was quite the run for Ruby. A lot of time there. I'd say they carried the momentum from last week. Just that very quick, right in, no messing around. Yeah, we're noticing that our stream is getting a little quality drop, so we apologize for that. Not sure what's going on. That's connection related. For sure. It's okay. Is you, are you plugged in right now? No. Like power cord's not plugged in? No, power cord's plugged in. Oh, that's what I was saying. We're running off solar panels here. <laughs> uh, what's our uh, bit rate at? We are at... So maybe we just need to drop that a little bit. Because we're even lagging. Uh, where's it at? Broadcast? No encoding. Uh, 25? Yeah. What do you think? Maybe 24. And then we'll bump it up as we go. I feel like later on in the night it usually gets better. Let's see if that stabilizes. Alright, we're going to try and do a little changes to our settings here. See if we can uh, stabilize our stream a bit for you guys so you can catch all the action as it's happening. Um, all right, so we've got again another traditional team, which is interesting because Team Ruby excelled on those dive comps last time, um, and then Team Jade again really excelled at having pretty creative approaches to their team comps, and neither of them are really ex taking advantage of that. Yeah, I was just gonna take a look here. We got Hawk doing the Genji thing. Which we saw him do last week, if I remember. Mm -hmm. And also on our uh, week, we have our weekly social play scrims, if you will. We saw him pull out some Genji there. So he's what he's able to do here. We're going to just try and walk this on down, see what they're able to do. Yugs picks up Nerazuri, but Shakanaw goes down. Ooh. And we got Big Guy, our guest sub there, leading the charge as the line there to go against Yugs. Yep. But they're already up two right now, so Jay could really push in here and make things uncomfortable for Jay or uh, for Ruby. For Ruby, yeah. Ruby has met with the same force. This, I feel like we're seeing a repeat of week two here. Yeah, a lot of very aggressive play. Very much so. And look at that shock and all already going down. Mm -hmm. Gets the charge kill, and it looks like he's probably going to pick up Jet here. Big kills there by our big guy. Alting, or uh, alting, emoting with pride. Yeah, I think uh, I think our, our stream looks a lot better right now, so I'm hoping it stays. Yeah, our way. bit rate's a little more stabilized, so thanks for staying with us. We got Hawk trying to pick up a couple kills there to cure and positioning himself to try and make a hold up here. Again, yeah, we, again, we're talking about that ship location, which we're seeing them hold there. Let's see if they can hold them at all. I don't know if Ruby is... Uh, we got a little, little bit there. 
big alts there. Gets his alt out. Only gonna pay up, pick up that diva, but still okay. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Team Jade just marching this down way faster than Ruby did. Wow, nice work, Jade. Yeah, we're sitting here uh, at four. Oh my gosh, we've got six minutes for him to come yeah. through here. This is uh, plenty of time. That is a ton of time, and they are picking up the kills off that awkward spawn right there. Yeah, they got him spit up, split up and retreating. So nice hook there by Nazuri. Wow. Grab that out of Mech Diva, no problem. Slonk goes down as well, and maybe Ruby's gonna have an opportunity to stabilize here. We'll see. So this can be a really challenging hold here. We got run on run action as we go back to Missouri. Let's see what he's up to with that hook. Oh. He's trying to launch in some damage here. Big charge there from our big guy knocking out that diva, but he goes down. Ruby. Looks like I team thought for a minute Ruby was gonna well they're still doing it. Okay. Yeah, I think Team Ruby's gonna stabilize here. Yeah. They've got some good kills. They've got some good alts. Loth's got his transcendence. So. I was, yeah, I was just going to say, they're sitting on Zen's ult there. If he pops out at the right time, they can hold it for another wave. So that'll be good. We are going to see this Genji. Uh, Let's see if he can position himself in a, in a good spot right behind the line there so he can kind of chain together the squishies. Yeah, we're thinking with the... Uh, Nano Blade is going to be pretty strong here. Um, he can get up there and just kept pick up a couple. The goal, though, we've seen, you know, Loth is going to be quick to pop his alt if he knows that Hawk is using his. So you got to be quick to kill that Zenyatta. If you're not, you're just going to burn your whole alt. You got to listen, as we were talking about earlier. Really early alt, and you're going to see, yep, there goes Loth's alt right yep. there, and it's not going to do much anything. And it's actually going to kill Hawk. Yeah. With that. But Sloth picks up the Dead Eye. So even though we had the other all coming down, they did a lot of work with that. Jade responded there pretty well. Ruby, Ruby's holding this pretty nicely. Yeah. This is a good point. This is right before they get to that clearing. So there's a bend here. There's a lot of opportunity for, for you know, good coverage with the environment. We talked about that last week. You're seeing it here. Yep. And you have the close spawn here for Team Ruby, so it can be pretty challenging uh, for Team Jade. You really got to be able to push in convincingly. You can see they're slowly itching the, inching the payload up, slowly but surely. Um, another all coming out of Hawk there, but he gets picked up. And then Shock and all immediately alts afterwards, but gets picked up by Yibo. And they're forced to retreat right now. Team Jade trying to get out of there with whatever the lives they have left, but Likely Ripper's gonna get picked you up know, here. I was just gonna say we're seeing Ye uh, Yibo play the Zen role this round as well So it's a little different than Mercy would be on this map Yeah, you're not really banking on that go die on the point for the alt. You're looking more for those pushing opportunities Yep, and I think that in some ways works better with uh, players like Hawk that are gonna be in there pretty deep uh, But then again, you know you miss that opportunity to utilize the to utilize his uh, the res, but that was a big kill. Dekurin though answers it, and Team Ruby's gonna stabilize again. Unbelievably wow, good. Dekurin with a ridiculous alt there. Wow. He is playing phenomenal DPS this game. This is probably some of the best we've seen. They get a team kill off that. By far. This is a really impressive hold considering how quickly they were falling apart on the on the route in here. They still got tons of time though, and again on these sort of payload maps, even if you end up not as long as you get the point, that's what matters. You know, you can make a one-time overtime push work here. Yeah. They opt to nano blade Narazuri, who just starts pushing them back. He was in a really good position there. Loth timed that all, but it's answered by Evo. Wow. Another dead eye by DeCurrin. Let's see if he. Uh, can he pull it? Ooh. Oh. Doesn't wow. manage to happen. And we got Shock and All with his ult. Is he going to be able to pull this off? He doesn't have a lot of health, though. He's forced to back off. He's still got it, but. Ooh, and he goes down. Hawk picks him up real quick before he's able to get that off. Tremula should be able to make this point last a little bit longer. No. 
Alright, we got that ult out of Sloth. Picks up Loth. They're walking this in. A minute wow. 20 left. It's a nice, nice healthy push there, but uh, Ruby managed to hold pretty well though, I think. Oh yeah. That went from six minutes on the last point to what was that, minute and a half yeah, or so? Minute and a half, yeah. A minute 17. Big. That was a really important hold there. So both teams are kind of in an interesting spot here. They were able to push it back, make some stuff, uh, make some moves connect, hold them at critical points. Also take advantage of those support alts, I think was a common theme we saw, you know, staying alive rather than those massive offensive alts. Yeah. I know there's a, you know, there's not a huge difference, but... It's so weird that we're lagging like this. Yeah. Maybe, um... Maybe we can just try and hardline in. Yeah. We gotta disconnect again, though. Maybe we'll do it on the next. We'll just have to deal with this set of games. Right. I can keep it live and try, like, in between. Yeah. Is there anything going on that's, like, delaying the stream? That's what I was checking. All right, while we're analyze our computer issues here, we're gonna do our best to uh, to kind of keep you guys posted with the action. We apologize for the delays on stream because that's obviously tough to enjoy, but appreciate you guys again sticking with us. All right, we got some uh, early aggression here out of Tremulus, trying to get in their faces and push them back, but one of the issues with this point in the spawning situation is that Jade's going to keep being able to reinforce this and pushes Jade back already and takes control of the point, which means that they have the potential to get uncontested past this bridge, which is going to be tough. And they're marching up here. Ruby's going to have an opportunity to hold here at the corner, which is going to be pretty important here. If they're able to do this, Jade's not really going to have an opportunity to run another one back here. So this is kind of Jade's final push in a lot of ways. You can see Sloth picking up those kills on the payload. Ooh, what do you think? You think that was too early? Well, it zoned out the other team, which was good. He managed to pick up Tremulous' mech. Sloth's getting the ult in. They gotta be careful here. They don't really have a whole lot on the payload. So if you lose anybody, oh, there we go. Yeah, right, big guy coming in, yep. much more secure. Getting those tanks in there. So now it is another critical part is that the respawn timers start to change so that if you're really able to push ahead, you're going to be in good shape. And plenty of time on that shield. Nice Locks on that shield. Control. Really, really well Ooh, played. They get it back be, on that point. Got to be careful. You got to stay yeah. on that point. Uh -oh. Dropping. Hawk's the only one on there and the whole team is down. I think the team is resting on Hawk's abilities. Wow. Well, that's not the. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not the. Uh, that's not that on. We've seen that tracer move before. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can be very, very strong. So we're gonna see what Ruby's able to do. This is not a very long push, um, but again, we've seen wild things happen. Unbelievably great holds, and uh, we're hoping to see that again out of these guys. Let's just do it. Let's just rip it and go. And nobody can use that. But... That's fine. Oops. Alright, we're gonna reset our screen. Hold on, I'm gonna try and do it without having to reset.
right, so we are seeing Hawks Bastion here, which is very effective before, but they've got three minutes to hold this, and it's ho hopefully he'll be able to do that. Yeah. Switch, oh, the thing to game? Game only. The top one, the top one, the top one. We're still in the first one. Oh, we're still in the first. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, right now it's, uh, they're, yeah, just the first match. Oh, okay, it's your zero first match. Yeah, zero first match, yeah. They're doing their OT time yet. Yeah. All right, I think we're back in action here, right? All right. So we should be good now. All right, you want to bump the frame rate up to 2700? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go drop it now. Just like that. Yeah, let's stabilize first. Yeah. All right, so what we're seeing so far is a pretty, really good hold out of Jade right now. Unfortunately, we're sorry we're not able to make it work for you guys. But... The cool thing here with a big ult from Yibo keeping Team Jade up and alive. Ooh, big ult coming out of Tremulous, gonna pick up a lot of players there, and that's gonna be what secures Team Ruby, it looks like, onto the point. And it looks like Ruby's gonna pick up this first game. Really good play from Tremulous there, manages to, to finalize it and get the win in there. I don't get why we're having such connection issues. Uh. Wonderful.